Hello Key Stage 2. Today we're going to look closely at one of the features of a diary and that feature is being able to express your feelings and thoughts within a diary entry. So today we're going to look at something called show, don't tell. So thinking about the emotions within the story. So this is a technique that writers use to create a clear picture in the reader's mind. It makes the story much more interesting and allows the reader to fully understand how a character feels. So, which sentence do you prefer and why? So, Connor was scared. Connor's tummy started to churn and he was beginning to break out into a cold sweat. Which one do you prefer and why? Which one has the better effect on you as the listener? Okay, I much prefer Connor's tummy started to churn and he was beginning to break out into a cold sweat. It doesn't say he's scared, but it's showing what happens when you are scared. So today you need to think about how you might act, what you might look like, what things might happen when you're feeling a certain way. So Sadia felt happy. Sadia's eyes lit up as a huge smile appeared on her face. Again, which one is more effective? Which one do you prefer? Alex was shy. Alex blushed and looked up at the sky. So when you're feeling a bit shy, you might not want to look at the person who is talking to you. So you might look away or look up at the sky might go a bit pink as well that's what blushed means a bit red in the cheeks another one sophie was angry sophie's face turned bright red and she started to clench her fists what else might you do if you're angry how else could you describe and show the reader what is happening rather than telling them the emotion that they are feeling and again another one i'll let you have a read So, I want you to have a go now in your books. So you will need to put today's date. Learning objective, we will have show, don't tell. And I want you to write this simple sentence in your book. He was tired. And then underneath, I want you to think of a sentence, how you would show the reader that he was tired. So what might you do when you are tired? How might you act? How might you feel? So have a go at improving that sentence. You may want to pause the video while you do that. For this one, she was shocked. You could change she into a name if you'd like. And then again, I want you to write a sentence. I don't want you to tell me she's shocked show me what might you do when you are shocked and that picture there gives us a bit of a clue of what some of the things you might do if you're shocked again pause the video so you can have a go next one he was afraid again looking at the facial expressions what do you do when you're scared you're afraid of something and i want you to write the sentence underneath that shows me that he was afraid. Again, pause the video to give yourselves a bit of time to think and record your sentence, making sure you've got those punch, that punctuation. At least capital letter for stop. Capital letters for names as well, remember. She was excited. Again, underneath, show me she was excited. What do you do when you're excited? Think about how you might act, some of the things that you might do. Again, pause the video to give you some writing time. Okay, key stage two. So today we are thinking about, again, the video treasure. What I'd like you to do is think about the thoughts and feelings of this character throughout the story. So throughout the video, as you can see on my page there, I've got a thought bubble. So at, in this clip, I think the character is 
thinking, I cannot believe how I, I have managed to create this. So this is when she puts the ring on the um, tin can and her, her whole tent lights up. So I'm thinking, she's thinking in her head, I cannot believe I have managed to create this. So I put a little thought bubble and I've written that sentence. What am I missing in my sentence? I wonder if you can tell me. That's right, I've forgotten my full stop. Then underneath you can see a love heart. So this is thinking about how she's feeling. So again, my simple sentence, I'm going to tell you how she's feeling. So she was amazed. And underneath I'm going to show you by describing what happened. So her eyes expanded and her jaw dropped as she saw the beautiful thing she had created. So for each picture today, I want you to think about, so you'll have a picture, you'll put a thought bubble and write a sentence about what she is thinking at that time. Underneath a little heart, I want you to tell me, tell me how she's feeling. So in a simple sentence, she was amazed, she was sad, she was shocked. Okay, then underneath, I want you to write the sentence that shows me how she is feeling, what happens when you are feeling like that. So on the next slide, you will need to pause the video and make sure you've got three sentences per picture. So we've got eight pictures, three sentences per picture. That means you're going to write 24 sentences today. So we're gonna have a thought sentence, a feelings telling me how your feelings and a feeling showing me how she is feeling at that point. Okay, we can write it in the first person if you like to practice for our diary entry. So I, I was shocked, I was sad. Okay, so once you finish this today, I'd like you to send a picture of your work to your teacher's email address and I look forward to reading them later. Enjoy your learning today.